Hello, it's Peter here from Sojanomi.com. In this video, we're going to be doing monogramming with the Horizon Link suite for the Genomi Memory Craft 15,000. So this is our start screen here. What we want to do is click on EMB Link Tool. Uh, then we want Editing Embroidery Designs. I'll click on that one. It brings up our Edit screen. Uh, the hoop we want to use today is the SQ14 hoop. So to change our hoop underneath Embroidery Edit in the Home screen, click there. It gives you a drop down list. Click on Hoop SQ14. Give me a smaller hoop now. Uh, what I want to do is to, we want to do the monogramming. So I've got three options here. I've got the ABC monogram, which will let me type something out, and then I've got a two or a three letter monogram. So if I click on the two letter monogram, I can put in my initials. I can put something around it with this frame down the bottom here. So you've got four options. If you click on that one, press OK. That's all set up. You can then just send that straight to your machine. So if you click on send there, that will just send straight over to my memory craft 15,000. Press delete. If you click on the three letter, it's exactly the same thing, just that you can put three letters. And then on the monogram, if I press there, what I've got in my monogram screen, so this just adds this bit here once you press the monogram. So I've got my font selection over here on the left hand side, and if I press, if I click on the bottom arrow there will give me a drop down menu of all the available fonts that are in this program. So I'll click on Cheltenham. We move across the screen there. You'll see here I've got size. That's on M at the moment. Click on that. You can choose small and large as well. If I click on that, I've got large size font now. I'll go back to medium. Uh, as we move further across, you can do horizontal or vertical lettering. At the moment we're in horizontal. If I click it that way and type in something and press enter, you'll see that comes in vertical. I don't want to do that at the moment. So we'll go back to horizontal. Uh, as you move further across, you've got space size. So this is the space between each letter. It's set at nine millimeters at the moment. You can adjust that to wherever you'd like to. And then if we keep coming across, you see here you've got design font. So you can insert border stitches. These are actual sewing stitches that you can insert into your embroidery. And you've got normal sew stitches there as well. So you can do a couple of fun little things with those. And it's just a matter of having a bit of a play around. For the moment, I'm just showing you about the lettering. So I've chosen my font here. I would type in what I would like to type in. Once you've got typed out what you would like to sew, hit enter. To get rid of this monogram menu here, press the X, that all disappears. So at the moment that's just Janome, just in a straight line. If you click on edit, along here you've got your copy and paste, delete, mirrors, resizing, rotating, colors, changing. Uh, I can center that design right in the middle of my hoop using the center tool. Uh, I can't corner it because I haven't got anything. I don't want to corner that. What we have got here is a range text. So you've got four options. You can arc your text. Uh, so you can up. If you hit the upper, it arcs it up. Lower will arc it downwards like that. I'll just put a little bit of a upper arc on that. I can adjust the spacing as well between my lettering if I want to. So if I wanted that a bit wider, you can just hit the loose and that'll widen out the space between those letters. And if you want it tighter, just use the tighter uh, button there and that will bring your letters closer together. Once you're happy with that, go back to the Home tab and you can just send that straight to your memory craft 15,000. So if I click send, that goes straight over to my memory craft 15,000.